E gridate, 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 sai a me che me ne importa. E parlate, parlate, io fingerò di ascoltarvi per l'ennesima volta. And, so, you know, speaking of the uh, European technocrats, you know, what what side, what kind of neoliberal agenda is, I mean, is winning in this context? What what side is leading the thing in Europe? In, in Europe? You know, I, I currently, I mean, you, um, obviously Europe has a lot of problems right now. And uh, a lot of those problems are based on the euro itself. And as we know, uh, you know, Germany figures very prominently in all of this. Um, and when you look at the formation of the European community out of which the European Union comes, right, various concessions. Uh, what do you want to do? Well, you got to avoid, you want to avoid conflict, okay? Uh, because European states have been going at each other for ever, as long as there's been a Europe, right? You can go back to uh, Charlemagne, I guess, I don't know. In any case, um, you got to avoid, con you don't want another major war, because why? Well, you know, you might lose, number one. And secondly, the last major wars have stimulated the growth of socialism. And that's problematic. Really, that's the fundamental problem, right? So you want to avoid conflict if at all possible, right? So you have to make concessions. Uh, but then to make concessions, what do you do? Well, in France, uh, France does not want to give up its small farmers, or did not want to give up its small farmers back in the 1950, because the French countryside was sacred. It was the heart of the French soul, right? Uh, that crap. Um, you know, anyway, uh, Germany is the country with the industrial might, right? So you have to give Germany concessions with regard to its industry, with regard to its manufacturing. And then you have all these other, you know, what do you do with Belgium? Uh, well, Belgium, you know, every time there's a European war, Belgium gets gets slaughtered, right? Because they, you know, they the, the armies move back and forth, and uh, I mean, how many major battles of World War II were fought on Belgian soil, right? Uh, so you have to have all these concessions, and then once the formation occurs, then things change, and then you have the euro. And Germany's industrial might becomes increasingly dominant and monetary might through the euro, even though there's no mark. You know, and this is why, I mean, Europeans generally are hostile to Germans these days, right? Uh, I remember it was, it was the last World Cup when Germany lost. Uh, one, somebody I knew was over in Italy, I guess it was, and uh, watching the cup, uh, watching the game. And uh, Germany goes down to defeat, and everybody cheers, and there's honking in the streets, and people are parading around with, you know, different flags, every flag except German flags, and things like that. Um, so. But I don't know enough about the specifics of these various differences currently to really have a good feel for how to address that question. I really don't. Uh, and it, require, it would require close study, actually, uh, with a lot of data collection, a lot of information collection. And when I use the term data, I don't mean necessarily numbers. I mean basically information, right? Old-fashioned use of the term. Mm.